In this question, we are going to look at gas pressure inside car tires and how we can add gas into that tire to increase its pressure. So let's read the question first together. The air in the car tire has a constant volume of 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meter cube. The pressure of the air is 2.9 times 10 to the power of 5 at a temperature of 17 degrees Celsius. Ooh, lots of information. Let's label them. Volume, pressure, so pressure here is P, and temperature, okay? The air may be considered to be an ideal gas. Part A. State what is meant by an ideal gas. So when we think about ideal gas, immediately your brain should call, hmm, there is an equation, something, something, PV is NRT. Okay, good job, good job. This equation needs a bit of tweaking or fine-tuning because we are looking for relationships when we define ideal gas. So we should use PV over T is equal to NR, which is constant. So the first sentence I'm going to write is, any gas that obeys the relationship PV over T is constant. So that is one mark. Any gas that obeys the relationship PV over T is constant. But where is the second mark, you may ask? Okay, to be extra safe, the second mark should tell us what PV and T represents because these symbols are not given in the description of the question. So P is pressure, V is volume, and T. T is thermodynamic temperature. Okay? So once we define PV and T, we should also state the conditions, okay? So for all values of PV and T provided, the number of moles is constant. So you can see here, it is for all values of PV and T, same number of moles. Let's jump on to part B. Calculate, okay, need equation. The amount of air in mole in the tire. So good news, ladies and gentlemen, you can use PV is equal to NRT. Just be extra careful and make sure everything you substitute is in SI. Okay, let's harvest the values. We have P, 2.9 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. We're checking for units every step of the way. V is 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 N. And we are looking for the number of moles N. You can plug in the universal gas constant, constant all over the place, 8.31. can find in page 2 in your exam paper. And finally, temperature. So temperature is 17 degrees Celsius, but please remember to change to Kelvin. So I'm going to put an exclamation point here. This must be in Kelvin, as I unit law hall. So if you press your calculator, all right, and after the jump, you can find the number of moles. Okay, so I've pressed my calculator and I've gotten 3.73. So hopefully you get the same number as well. Can write your answer in 2 to 3 SF. La. 3 SF la for now. Okay, no problem. Let's move on to part C because the question is not over yet. Part C. The pressure in the tire is to be increased. All right, so now we're going to, you know, increase the pressure get things happening here pressure increase so when the pressure is to be increased on each stroke of the pump so if you're wondering what pump why stroke okay so this is a manual pump i have taken the liberty to show you how it looks like so every time okay this is the equilibrium position i pull up the pump and then i push it down i will add 0 0.012 mole into a tire that is connected to this nozzle. So this nozzle, there's a place, there's a little place where you can plug it in and add air into the tire or remove air from the tire. Okay, but every time I press down, every time I stroke down the pump, I have this much mole of air added into the tire. So number of moles is not constant too. I'm just gonna make a quick note here. N has to increase. Okay, so calculate how many times I need to stroke the pump, cough, cough, to increase the pressure, okay, P increase, to this many pascal and hotter temperature, I guess, all the stroking makes things extra hot, right? Okay, so the temperature has also increased. So you can feel that there's a lot of changes happening to the gas pressure, la, temperature, la, volume, la, volume got changed. Don't know, leh. So let's 
organize our information and put them into a handy dandy table. So every character that we care about in the gas in the tire, pressure, volume, temperature, and also at the same time, number of moles, because that ain't constant no more. Right. So here we will have initial condition, initial condition. I'm going to call this one and final condition. So you don't have to do this if you are very organized and you're not afraid of substituting wrong values. But I am. So I'm going to do this. So I have all the final conditions above this uh, table. Final pressure is 3.4 times 10 to the power of 5. Final temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. Final number of moles I want to find. So I'm just going to put the N2 here with a question mark. Question I want to find this. Okay, what about initial conditions? Now, let's harvest from the top. Um, well, the initial pressure is 2.9 times 10 to the power of 5. Sure. 2.9 times 10 to the power of 5. Uh, the initial temperature is 17 degrees Celsius and the initial number of moles as calculated in part B is 3.73. Okay, teacher, I got everything except volume. Volume apa macam ah? How are this volume? How, how? Okay, then you, my friend, will notice that the volume is constant because they mentioned early, early in the question here. Nah, air in the car tire got constant volume. So we assume that whether we add a little bit of air or remove a little bit of air, there is negligible change in volume. It's a bit like pumping a basketball lah. The size of the basketball roughly will stay the same, roughly. So it's going to be constant. It's going to be 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 on both sides. Okay. So right now, when you reach this juncture, you have two ways to solve. I have a preference. If you've watched enough of my videos, I like to use ratio. Okay. Or someone's going to label this one as method 1. Or you could look at method 2 where you use the ideal gas equation. Which one to use? Ah? I show you both. Lah, okay. I do method one first. Okay. So if I want to use ratio, I must have a starting equation. Don't care lah what the equation is. But today only got one equation to play with. PV is an RT. Now, first things first, we've got to identify all the constant and tell them, shoo, 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 go away. You are not proportional. You, are, you, you, don't, you don't matter. So volume is constant. Universal gas is constant. And since I want to find uh, N, maybe I isolate N first. Lah. N will be equal to PV over RT. Okay. And once again, just to repeat, V and R is constant. Okay. So from here, I can write N is proportional to P and inversely proportional to temperature T. Okay. So when doing so, I can now say N because I'm looking for N2 over N1, right, is equal to directly proportional, so the ratio will be the same, multiply by inversely proportional, so the ratio will flip from 2 to 1 to 1 to 2, okay? So now we are looking for N2. Where is our N1? 3.73, okay? Final pressure is higher because we add air, okay? Initial pressure is lower, if you want the 10 to the power of 5, feel free. But hopefully you will see now they can they cancel out. Very nice. Okay. What about temperature, teacher? Teacher, teacher, do I, must I, must I convert to Kelvin? Can I not convert? Well, if you are good at ratio or if you are the type where, you know, you are, you are, you are steady, you don't rush too much, you will notice that this is not okay. You have to convert because if you don't convert on this side, you will have 27 plus Oh no, this is 17. My bad. Initial temperature, 17 plus 273. And here is 27 plus 273. And woe be you if you cancel off the 273. They ain't equal. You can't cancel plus minus. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't lose that mark. All right. So now I'm going to press my calculator and get my N2. And yeah, I just cancel off the 10 to the power of 5. So use calculator to find N2 now. Okay, after consulting my calculator, the value I got is 4.22733333, okay, 4.23 moles. Alright, so this is not the end yet because I need to know how many times I need to pump the thing. So, if I want to find the number of strokes needed, I need to find how much gas added. So, hence, I can say that the gas added is equal to N2 minus N1, which is 4.23 
minus the initial number of moles 3.73 that will get me a value of 0 0.50 mole so if this is 0 0.50 mole then you should ask yourself how many times do i need to <coughs> stroke my pump so that i can add this much gas so then you can say number of strokes now each strokes adds 0 0.12 mole 0 0.12 mole so we will take 0 0.50 divided by 0 0.012 and if we press our good friend Casio Itu calculator you will find that the number of strokes here must be 42 and then some of you may be saying wait a second miss when I press all when I press uh, I don't get exactly 42 leh. I get 41 Point seven, my dudes you are not going to press the pump 0 0.7 on the way in because you read the question it says number of strokes so you need to have integer values only okay so the number of strokes must be integer your answer must be 42 okay so you may be wondering teacher what is method 2 i am method 2 easy you can use pv is equal to nrt but for final conditions okay so i'm going to substitute it in quickly because we already have the values 3.4 times 10 to the power of 5 volume here is 3.1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 and 8.31 27 plus 273 you can do this and if you press your calculator you will find that this second value of n is still 4.23 law so it's the same you like la which one you want to do i prefer ratio because less to press but you know what free country up to you so in conclusion this part is three marks because it's an older question but if you're wondering where the marks is if you manage to arrive at 4.23 moles meaning you know you need to find the number of moles whether you use method one or method two where you use the equation you will get your c1 mark here okay and then you find the change that is c1 and then your final answer with integer only this one will be a1 okay and the top part is pretty straightforward if you substitute correctly is c1 your final answer here is a1 equation no mark la okay this one is a very easy to remember equation all right that's it for the question air pump okay try more examples now see you in the next one Bye bye